Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. And you know that whole Switch thing that we may have mentioned briefly in a previous video? Yeah, it's, uh, it's an interesting thing, isn't it? It's not one thing or the other. Is it a home console? Is it a portable? Nobody seems to really know. As it happens, I've been pondering the very same question myself for some time now, and I think I've come to a conclusion. But first, we need to explore the various different options. Is it a home console that you can take with you, or is it a portable that you can dock? Let's find out. Now, first of all, let's look at things that makes this a home console. Now, you've got the dock, obviously, and things like that, and we could look at power levels and things like that, but, uh, well, I'm gonna touch on it briefly. Okay, I will, I will, I will. The Wii U is undeniably a home console. I don't think anybody's gonna argue that, because, I mean, well, it's a console that sits on your shelf. You can't take it around with you. If you could, well, you'd need some sort of generator or something. But every time you play the Wii U, you sit down and you play it, and the power doesn't really come into it. I know a lot of people think that it does, and so, well, well, you know what, for that, I am going to entertain you. When it comes to power, the Switch, is it a home console? Kind of? It's not on par with things like the PS4 and the Xbox One, which we've said time and time again, but it is still a powerful machine, especially considering the nice titty little size it is. I mean, the whole thing's like that. It's absolutely bonkers. But power and graphics does not a home console make. No, no, no. A home console is something that you can't take with you, that is sort of stationary, which is why it's so hard to say is the Switch a home console, because it can be stationary and it cannot be stationary. It can be portable. It sort of can sort of flip between the two, which is why we're even having this discussion. One of the things I want to really look at is the controller setup. I mean, you can take the controllers off and you can use them as though it were a home console. Almost, you know, sort of inarguably, it can be used as a home console. You can dock it, you can play on a big screen, there's no latency, you can use a wireless Bluetooth controller, just like the Xbox One and just like the PS4. But the Switch isn't as simple as that is it because you can take everything in that and take it with you if you so desire so the things that can make it a home console it can be stationary it can be used with like a switch pro controller so a standard controller you can you know sort of play local multiplayer with friends using just a single device and that's not something you can really do with a portable so that definitely makes it a home console for those reasons. But what about the portable side of things? I'm sure I don't need to go on and on and on about all the things that makes it portable because, well, they're fairly obvious. But you know, you pick it up out of the dock, you slide the Joy-Cons on the side or you do it the other way around, whichever way suits you best, and you take it with you and it is a fully portable experience. It's got its own screen, it's got its own controls, and it's got its own battery. It may not be the best battery in the world, but it is still a battery and it still can be taken anywhere. You know, you're not tethered down like you were with the Wii U. The Wii U, you had to stay within about, you know, maybe 100 feet or so, depending on how much interference you had around. If you went any further than that, the Wii U gamepad would just sort of go, I can't do it. So it is definitely portable, and I'm sure some people would argue that you could in fact make a Wii U or an Xbox One or a PS4 portable using, as I previously, previously mentioned, some sort of generator. It's a mad idea, don't do it. But then to countermand that, you can use it portably, but you can also do local multiplayer on the device as itself, even portably. You don't have to be hooked up to a TV to have local multiplayer on a single device, which is something that we haven't really seen before. I mean, I'm sure there have been some things. I mean, you could argue various iPad games and things like that, and even iPhone games can be sort of local multiplayer on a single device, but beyond that, you know, as far as a dedicated gaming system goes, I don't think we've really seen that before. If we have, I mean, maybe the Game & Watch. The Game & Watch had that, didn't it, with the whole controller thing? One of the Game & Watches? Yeah, that had it, but that was still Nintendo, so it counts. But never on this level. Having changeable games, online multiplayer, it really is a modern console that you can have two people playing portably on a single unit, which is mad, and it really does make the whole argument a lot more difficult. I suppose what's brought me to my conclusion, which I will get onto, don't worry, is the fact that Every ad you've seen for the Nintendo Switch says it is a home console that you take with you. They've always tried to reiterate that and not the other way around, not that it's a handheld that you dock. And I think that's a really crucial thing to focus on here. Nintendo doesn't want you to think of this as a super duper handheld that you can dock because that almost devalues it in competition with things like the PS4 and the Xbox One. And I do think it can be in direct competition with those things. It offers so many different and unique features and you know what? The portable side is too difficult to ignore. It is not just a home console. And you know, I mean, you could argue, yes, again, it is just a home console that you take with you. 
but you could also perfectly treat it and play the Switch so your heart's content without ever putting it in the dock. It doesn't have to be a home console. And that is pretty much where I draw my conclusion. I don't think that it's a home console that you can take with you. I don't think that it's a portable that you can dock. I think it is whatever you need it to be. If you need it to be exclusively portable, it can be. If you need it to be exclusively home console, it can be. If you need it to be something in between, it can be. And that is the joy. The only thing is, that is a difficult thing to market. I think Nintendo has done well when it comes to subtly marketing it as this sort of thing, but it, and they, they have to focus on something, and I think focusing on the home console does make people think that they do have a chance against things like the PS4 and the Xbox One, despite not being as powerful, because power isn't everything. Look at the Wii. I'd really like to just take a moment to thank the fan who gave me this idea. Unfortunately, I did not make a note of your username because I'm a total idiot, um, but uh, it was in a Periscope recently. I did a live Periscope, and somebody gave me this idea for a video, and I thought it was fan dabby dozy. So thank you for that. This video is because of you full credit to you. But what do the rest of you think? How do you think you're going to be using the Nintendo Switch? Is it going to be a home console for you or is it going to be a portable? Let us know down there in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you slide some lovely Joy-Cons onto the side of that subscribe button and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. The battery may not be absolute per- ab <laughs>